I picked two of the um, niyamas. One is ahimsa. Does anybody already know what that is? Okay. You know, yeah, you know this one. This one that comes a lot. It's the main observance or the main practice of all yoga philosophy. Himsa means to hit or strike. And when we have ah in front of it, it means not or against or the opposite. So this is to not hit or strike. So it means nonviolence. It means peacefulness. And the second uh, quality is satya. Does anybody know what that one is? Just offhand. Okay. Sat, you'll hear that a lot in Sanskrit words. It means true or truth. And satya means truthfulness. It means not lying. So we have um, our nonviolence and our truthfulness, our peacefulness and our truthfulness. And so what we're going to try to do as we move through our practice today, different postures, different, uh, we'll do some of the same things, seated, standing, lying on our backs, um, halfway standing or whatever. We'll, we'll find the same motions um, in all these different ways as a way of illustrating how truthfulness and peacefulness show up in lots of different areas. It's the same lesson or the same action or the same practice, but it's just done, um, it shows up in a lot of different ways. And once you start to be intentional about practicing those things, you start to notice where you're being truthful, where you're being peaceful, rather than um, resisting or um, snapping back um, or whatever. So, uh, so that's kind of what we're working on today. And <laughs> this was a little bit more interesting uh, when we were doing this via Zoom, some of these practices. We're going to do some lion pose today, too. Does anybody know what that looks like? <laughs> you do. You know what's coming. Maybe we should have masks up for this. I don't know. We'll see. Just we'll try to be mindful about not um, lioning at anyone. <laughs> so uh, lion pose uh, is a fun one. It looks like your tongue coming as far out of your mouth as you can, almost down towards your chin, and kind of... <sighs> So this is why we're not going to do it at anybody. Um, but partly this is a, a lion pose, simhasana. Simha means lion, asana means seat or pose. So simhasana is a way of clearing. And so as we um, engage in our lion pose, we'll be consciously thinking about how we are clearing out any untruth from our bodies, from our minds, from our hearts, uh, clearing out any resistance or... Um, Violence doesn't always look like striking. <laughs> Violence is sometimes a really negative thought. Have you ever, um, when we talk about people having daggers in their eyes, right? Violence isn't always a, a contact sport. Violence is sometimes a, a mental thing or, or an emotional thing. I hate that person. That's violent. I don't really like the way that person handled it. That's still stating the truth, but it's not so bleh, right? So we're going to use this lion pose to clear ourselves a little bit. And the other thing we're going to work on, two things. One is being firmly established in peace, firmly established in truth. So we're going to do a lot of grounding for that. And then the other thing we're going to do is um, open or to um, both transmit through that opening and also be open to receiving. So we're going to be able to be so rooted in our truth and in our peace that we can then trans, uh, transmit it outward. We become uh, a, a radio signal that's broadcasting peace and broadcasting truth. Because, uh, you know, we, we all have social media. I mean, this is just the day and age that we're in. A lot of people are broadcasting some not so great stuff, uh, violence and untruth. So we're gonna, as yogis and in our practice, um, work for the good. We're gonna work. Uh, I've heard somebody say, I don't remember who said it, but this is so great. I've used this lots of times. Do you use your powers for good or for awesome? <laughs> so we're going to try to use our powers for awesome today by rooting ourselves. So uh, the first way we're going to start this is just in a seated, you know, like you guys are. Feel free to keep your block. Um, as long as you feel grounded and you feel firmly established in your seat, you're doing it right. So legs can be anywhere. Just feel that grounding. Really establish yourself. And then try to just kind of cultivate feelings of peacefulness and truthfulness. Now peacefulness, we can kind of imagine cultivating that feeling. It means to slow the breath. We are calm. <clears throat> There's less tension in our muscles, etc. How do we cultivate a feeling of truthfulness? 
I think, and this is just what I think, it's not the truth, it's just what I think, but I think it means to rest in who you are, rest in what you are. To establish yourself in truth is to own yourself and to own the situations that you find yourself in, and to own your response to those things. So we're gonna get, get calm, we're establishing peace, we're gonna get real establish truth and we talked about our other objective for practice was to open so that we can both transmit these feelings outward and be open to receiving them so that we know what to uh, sustain and nourish ourselves with so we've established now let's open the heart let's lift the ribs up a little bit away from the pelvis and kind of just gently let the shoulders fall backwards to open the heart the third way that we are going to keep these feelings of truthfulness, peacefulness flowing through us, we've established, we've opened. Now let's also lift the crown of the head as if to kind of elongate the spine. And this is us intentionally um, trying to have the perspective of the higher mind. We heard about people taking the high road. <laughs> the high road ain't easy. Uh, it's a big climb. <laughs> and if you're afraid of heights, it's like, you know, the high road's hard. But we're going to try to intentionally be rooted, open, and take that high road, keep that higher mind. From this place, this seated establishment, this openness, and this higher mind, we'll start to find some movements in the body that will help us to embody more of um, this truth and this peace, this establishment opening so with your establishment your openness and your high mind bring your hands just down to the earth on either side of you <clears throat> and we're going to inhale the right arm straight up kind of reach your fingertips up and away from your shoulder straight above so feel how this elongates from your right shoulder to your right hip that's opening now let's create some stability in this left side by squishing that part together so we're leaning to the left Feel the relationship between the strengthening on the left side by compressing things and the opening happening on the right. So establishment on the left side, right? And then openness on that right side. See if also while you're here, you can keep your base, your sitting bones both very established as well. So both sitting bones still rooted. Let's find the other side. Inhale, reach straight up again. Exhale, come back down. Good to the other side. Inhale, left arm is straight up, opening that left side, strengthening through the right by compressing that side of the body. Firmly rooted still in our sitting bones, still open through the heart, lengthening through the spine, staying through that higher mind. Good, nice. Feel the relationship between that strengthening on the right side and that opening on the left side. Good. Inhale back up and exhale back down. Now we're just going to do that same thing but with our breath. Inhale up and reach. Exhale, lean. Inhale up and reach. Exhale, come back to the earth. Other side. Inhale, reach up, open. Exhale, transmit. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, back down. One more each side. Inhale, right arm straight up. Exhale, lean and open. Inhale, center. Exhale, back down. Inhale, reach and open. Exhale, strengthen and transmit. Good. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, back down. So we uh, are used to doing a lot of these poses, but when we give e a new meaning each time, it makes it new when we practice these familiar shapes. So hands can come either stay on the floor or come to knees. We're gonna try the uh, opening and strengthening as well. We're gonna look out and look within. So first, with our tall spine, established, open through the heart, elevated through the mind, drop your chin. So now the gaze has shifted inward. And this is us being truthful. We are with ourselves. We are seeing clearly what we are, who we are, how we respond. We're owning it. Feel as we look within. What's happening to the back of the neck? Now let's let that come also into the heart. So chin drops a little closer, heart reaches back behind the body, shoulders might shift forward a little bit. We're just hanging out here. Look deeply within, being truthful about who and what you are. 
And also keeping in mind this um, peacefulness, looking into yourself, seeing what and who you are, and having grace for yourself, having peace for yourself. This looking inward has expanded the back body, so just notice that relationship as well. On an inhale, come back to neutral, established sitting bones, open heart, elevated mind. Let's reverse. So now chin lifts. First, just in the neck. Feel the back of the neck compressing, strengthening, and then the openness of the throat that allows us to communicate clearly. Now let's bring that into the heart. Shoulders shift back, heart lifts as well. Just pause. The truth and the presence that we had with ourselves, the acceptance of ourselves, we're now applying that to the world. That we can accept the world the way it is so that we can begin to change it. Come back to neutral. Now let's move with our breath. So on an exhale, chin to chest, heart reaches back. On an inhale, chin and heart both reach up, shoulders come Exhale, look inside yourself, be peaceful and truthful with it. Lift and open, be peaceful and truthful with the world. Move back and forth a few more times. When you feel ready, come back to your neutral spine. Established in the sitting bones, open through the heart, elevated through the mind. So keeping that establishment, we're gonna do just like we did before, starting with our head and neck. So just turn your gaze, everything else stays the same, turn your nose and your gaze to the left. Now once we've seen this, and we can be present with it, we've acknowledged what it is, we can also then turn our heart in that direction. So right hand might come to left knee, just hold there. The hips have not changed. If you feel your right hip coming up off the floor, reestablish and try again. We have that establishment, that rootedness, openness in the heart, elevation through the mind. Release and come back to center. Take at least one full breath. Then turn your gaze only to the right. And once we see what it is, once we're present with it, we're truthful and peaceful, we've accepted our situation, then we can also then turn the heart in that direction. Left hand might come to right knee, rooted through both hips still, open through the heart still, elevated through the mind still. That as the world turns around us, as our bodies shift and change, we can remain rooted, established, and aligned with who we are truthfully and acceptance peacefully. Great, release and come back to center. If you need to, you can swap your legs. <clears throat> Now here's where we get to do our, our lion stuff. So, you know, be, be careful about where you're sending all this. <laughs> so we're gonna just bring hands in front of us. Spine is still long. And there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can just kind of stay here and ha from here. We can also maybe pull against the knees. We can also rock up onto the hands and maybe lean forward. So those are options. Any of those is fine. So we're gonna first just kind of take a nice deep breath in. As we exhale, tongue's reaching for the chin, and we're sending that breath out, clear it out. So let's do this several more times. I know it's kind of embarrassing and dorky. <laughs> Yoga is not like, you know, cool. It's kind of dorky. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do like five of these big line breaths. Really let it out like a roar as if you are eschewing or just like kind of literally spitting out. I mean, don't really spit. <laughs> COVID, um, but like, you know, Really let go of anything that is not truth within yourself, anything that is not peace within yourself, let it out and like force it out. It is not invited into your body, in your mind, or in your heart anymore. You ready? Big inhale. Good, four more, yes, I love the long ones, go. Good, two more. notice <laughs> if you feel clearer in the throat 
Maybe there's a clarity in the heart or the mind now. And I, I felt you guys really using the force of your diaphragm. That is your willpower. So good for you. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I feel really empowered just by what, being in the room with you guys while that was happening. That was awesome. So from here, we're going to find some of these same motions, same openings, same concepts, but we're going to do it on our feet. So we rooted through our hips, right? We opened through our heart, we elevated through our mind. Let's do that, but standing. So if you come to the top of your mat, feel that same rootedness of your hips and pelvis, but send it down into your heels and your toes. Get really established. We are established in truth. We are established in peace. Find that openness in your heart, that elevation in your mind. And the first thing we're going to do is find that strengthening on one side and the opening on the other side so we can receive and transmit. So inhale, reach your right arm straight above your shoulder. Open up that right side of the body. Left hand might come to hip here or just slide along the outside of your left leg. But lean to the left. Open that right side of the body. Feel the compression of your bones and ribs on the left, strengthening that opening. And just pause. Make sure your breath is flowing. Make sure you're open through the heart and elevated through the mind, even here. Good, inhale back to center, exhale, release your right arm. Let's do the left, inhale straight up, open the left side body. Right hand again, might be at hip or slide down the right leg as you lean to the right. That strength and stability of compression on that right side body opens and supports that broadcasting and receiving on the left side of the body. Open through the heart, elevate through the mind. Excellent. Inhale, come back to center, reach up, exhale, release your left hand. Let's do two on each side with your breath. Inhale, reach up, exhale, lean. Inhale, reach up, exhale, release. Inhale, reach up, exhale, lean. Inhale, reach up, exhale, release. One more on each side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. So the next thing we did after we opened and strengthened, we're still established, we're still open, we're still elevated. Now let's start to find that twisting motion. So there's several ways we can do this. I'll show you them first so you can choose the one that you think is going to work best for you. They all have the same spiritual effect. So choose the one that's most stable, since we're talking about establishment. Choose the one that's most stable for your body. One might be just to lift the foot off the floor and twist the knee and then the arm is the other way. The other way would be to extend the leg and twist. Another way would be just to have that foot kind of dangling on the floor and just kind of use your hand. So there's several ways to do it. It's all the same motion. Whatever's going to keep you most established is the right one for today. Okay? So establish, open, elevate, shift your weight into your left foot. Choose how you want to lift your right off the floor. Maybe it's just hovering. Maybe your knee is at hip height. Maybe your leg is extended. Any of those is fine. Finding that establishment, remaining open and elevated, start to twist your gaze to the whoa, to the right. And maybe you're gazing out at that left or right thumb, and your right knee is going to come towards the left side of your body. So see how much harder it is to est remain established and rooted, open through the heart and elevated through the mind when your body is changing, the world is changing, and the perseverance of coming back in when you fall out. Beautiful. One more breath if you can. And then be graceful as you come back into that establishment. Yes. Very nice. Rooted and established. Let's find the other side. Send your weight into your right foot. Open through the heart. Elevate through the mind. Left foot is coming up off the floor in whatever fashion feels right for you for today. Left arm might come out and extend. Maybe turn the gaze. Maybe your left thumb is now your drishti. No shame in falling out and coming back in. The teacher does it too. I've been doing this 20 years. I still can't do it always. All right, so right, left knee is going to come towards that right side, left leg, whatever it is. See if you can stay rooted and 
established. Notice as the world is changing how much harder it is, how much more effort is required to stay open through the heart, elevated through the mind, and established. Take another couple breaths if you can. When you're ready to come out, try to do so as gracefully as possible. Come right back into that establishment. Yes. Very good. Very good. So we did our twists. We opened our sides. Let's find some openness uh, to transmit this way, and let's also do that looking within. So from our establishment, from the hips all the way to the heels and toes, openness through the heart, elevated through the mind, let's find a half fold. So we're kind of lengthening hands. Might come to rest on your thighs or your shins. If it's possible for your body, the floor can also serve that same purpose. But in this half place, gentle opening through the heart, lengthening through the spine, we're gonna try three of those lions and we're gonna shoot them right down to the earth. We're gonna let the earth absorb this and transmute it. So big breath in, lion. Good, two more. One more. Come back up to standing. Now that we're clear, let's open and transmit our truth and peace out into the world. Inhale, arms might also rise. Chin and heart lift, hold. Let your breath flow. Receive and transmit that peace with your breath in and your breath out. Good. Come back to neutral, and then as you exhale next, chin drops to the chest. Then follow that up with folding forward. So you might just be kind of halfway, you might be down by your thighs. Just keep your neck, back of your neck long by looking inward. Hands can either rest to support you or they can just hang. But notice again how as we look inside and we sort of collapse the front body, that collapsing kind of creates that stability or strength by compressing everything and the back of the heart now is open. Good. Let's move with our breath. Reach the back of the heart up, chin stays in towards the chest. Once you come fully upright, lift the chin, lift the heart, and maybe the arms. Arms could also be at the hips or pressing into the low back for support. Good. As we come back to neutral, let the chin drop back towards the chest, then fold the rest of your body with that. Looking inside. Truth and peace within. Let the back of your heart lift you back to standing. Once you're there, chin lifts, heart lifts, maybe hands also. Transmit and receive peace and truth with your breath. Good, neutral, hands lower, chin drops to the chest. Look inside and then fold to your capacity. Remembering that the most important thing here is that establishment. So if you're folding so much that you're losing your balance, come back out a little bit. Being rooted and established is the most important thing here. Harmlessness, peacefulness, Good, let's do one more in each direction. Let the back of your heart roll you up. Keep your toes to your chest till you're fully upright. Then lift your gaze and chin. Lift your heart, maybe the hands. Breathe in and out, transmitting truth and peace with your exhale, receiving truth and peace with your inhale. Good, relax your arms, drop your chin to your chest. Look inside yourself, fold. Receiving the truth of who we are as we look inside and transmitting peace and acceptance to ourselves as we breathe out. Very good. Inhale, let the back of your heart lift you back up to standing. Once you're neutral, let your head become lifted again so we're rooted and established. We're open through the heart, we're elevated through the mind. Let's take some standing motions with this. So at the front of the mat, we're coming just gently into that balancing shape again. So first we're rooted and established, open through the heart, elevate through the mind, shift weight into your left foot. Right foot might just barely hover over the mat. Maybe knee comes straight towards the hips. Maybe it reaches, that leg reaches out. Up to you again, but just pause. Then with grace and as much stability as you can in that left foot, Step the right foot towards the back of the mat. Root yourself, establish yourself, adjust your feet if you have to. Heart is forward, hips are forward, gaze is forward. Let's inhale from here, arms are straight up. We're not bent, back bending, bend into the left knee, 
we're in that elevated place. So open heart by shifting the shoulders gently back. Crown is reaching up, but not the chin. Straight up and down through the spine. Warrior one is stable. It is open. It is powerful. It is elevated. Next inhale, straighten your left leg. Arms can either come down towards your hips. They could maybe interlace fingers behind your back to pull your shoulders back. You could also grasp for opposite elbows or reverse namaste. So choosing some kind of arm position that opens your heart. Then lift your chin, lift your heart. Shoulders fall back. Breathe in and out. Transmit peace with your exhale. Receive peace with your inhale. Say it for truth. Send it out with your breath. Receive it with your inhale. Feel the stability of your legs and how much you're relying on that establishment. Relax your arms, let your head come back to neutral. We're gonna bend into that left knee again. Hands are either gonna come down to your thigh or maybe to the floor here. Chin is gonna tuck into the chest. Back of the heart is gonna get big. Blocks can be useful here. You could also take this pose with the left leg straight and just an arched spine. Again, hands can rest at thigh, shin, floor blocks. Look inside, transmit love and peace and non-resistance, non-violence to yourself and receive the truth of who you are as you look inside. If you're not bent in that left knee, go ahead and bend that left knee, push it to the left foot to bring your upper body back to standing. And then we're gonna turn our heart to the right side of the mat as well as the right toes. So right toes and heels facing long edges. Left toes are still facing top of the mat. From here, open your arms out to shoulder height and then turn just your gaze to look over the left hand. Feel your heart open, establishment through hips and feet, elevation through the mind. We have a long, flat spine. Now reach the left hand as far to the left as you can here, and then turn just your arms. Long spine, open heart, established through hands and feet and hips. We're gonna try something really hard. <laughs> this is pretty hard. Now we've got really hard coming. Take another deep breath in and out in triangle pose. And then we're going to bring that right hand down towards the left thigh or shin or floor. And as much as you can, start to shift your heart to the left side. This is a reverse triangle. So your left hand can be at your hip. It can reach behind you. Maybe it comes up. This is an almost impossible pose. So just be gentle with yourself as you try this. This is that twist, the world turning, the self turning, and remaining established in peace and truth. Take one more breath if you can, then let both of your hands come to frame your left toes, bend at your left knee, and just step your right foot forward. Come into a forward fold. Chin actively reaching towards the chest to expand the back of the neck. Find your establishment in your feet and hips. Receive the truth of who you are and transmit peace to yourself. Lift the back of your heart, come back to standing. Chin is still in towards the chest. Once you're fully upright, reach the gaze, the heart, and maybe the hands upward. Send that truth of who you are out into the world. Send peace from within yourself out into the world. Receive the truth of the world. Receive the peaceful parts of the world into yourself. Bring your palms together at your heart center. Neutralize your spine. Just take three breaths. Giving and receiving, transmitting and receiving the truth and peace. Good. Relax your hands and then Having established ourselves, opened our hearts and elevated our minds, shift weight into the right foot, left toes might hover, knee might come up toward hip height, left leg might extend. Any of those choices is fine. Just hold there. See if you can stay rooted, open through the heart, and elevated through the mind in this more challenging pose than standing on both feet. And again, when you're ready, take a graceful step towards the back of the mat with your left foot. Both legs are straight, heart and hips are facing straight forward. Inhale, arms might rise here, flat back, so chin is still low, gaze is straight ahead, 
Exhale, bend into your right knee. Warrior one. No back bend here, just that elevation. Shoulders might gently shift back to open your heart, but no back bend. This is an establishment. Feet are grounded. Hips are extending that groundedness down to the legs and feet and toes. Good. Next, inhale. Straighten that right leg. You still have that flat back. Relax your hands either to your hips. Reverse namaste. Opposite elbows. Interlace fingers. Heart shifts back. Or heart shifts forward. Shoulder shifts back. Lift your heart. Lift your gaze. Transmit peace and truth from your heart outward with your exhale. Receive the truth about the world and the peaceful truth of the world into your heart as you inhale. Take a couple more breaths. We're going to go back inside the cell here. So we can bend into that right knee. Hands are going to release and come forward, neutralize the spine, chuck your chin into your chest. We're just going to kind of fold over that right leg. So again, leg could be straight and we're hanging this way. Knee could be bent. Hands can rest on thigh, floor, or blocks. But back of the heart is round, chin is in towards the chest. We're still established through our feet and hips. Feel stability here. Couple more breaths before we transition. If right leg is straight, maybe bend into that right knee a little bit and press into the right foot to lift your torso back up. Shift your heart and your left toes toward the long edge of the mat. Inhale, open your arms out wide. Turn your gaze to look over the right hand. Open your heart, establishment, openness, elevation. Then reach the right hand straight ahead. Turning just your arms, keep your long flat back. Heart is softly opened here. Mind is elevated away from the pelvis, triangle pose. Right hand can rest on thigh, shin, toes, floor, block, lots of options. The spine is what's important here. The establishment, the openness, and the elevation is most important. Everything else is a variable. Good, and we've gone from hard here in triangle pose. We're gonna try this hard reverse one again. So let your right, or excuse me, let your left hand come down towards your right leg and just start to shift your heart towards the right. So again, your right arm can be anywhere from straight out to up. It can reach behind your back. Your left hand can support you in any way that feels good. But notice the challenge that the more change we experience, the harder it is to remain established in that peace and truth. Just do your best. Take another breath or two to challenge yourself if you like. When you're ready to come out, do it as gracefully as you can. Hands will frame the right toes, and then we'll step the left foot forward again. Chin actively towards the chest to look inside the cell, establishing through the feet and hips. Feel openness at the back of your heart, and an elevation of the crown of the head away from the sacrum or the tailbone. Let the back of your heart lift back up, chin is still in towards the chest. Once you're neutral in your spine, lift your heart, lift your chin, maybe your hands. Transmit and receive the truth from within yourself to the world and the truth from the world into yourself, the peace of the world into yourself. Receive all the neighbors who are loving one another in this moment. Neutralize your spine, bring your palms back together in towards your heart, that union. Take three breaths. We're going to find some <laughs> more relaxed versions of these same poses. So we're going to find our way, however you'd like to, down to sitting bones on the mat, feet in front of you. So if you recall, we uh, have done our side bending stuff, our twisting stuff. We are, had our cat cow kind of stuff. We do all that same stuff again. So your feet can be almost anywhere you want them to be. They can stay like this. They can be more cross-legged. Um, they can be bound angle. So again, choices there. Um, so in this space, I'm going to do this. 
in this space, root through the sitting bones and maybe the soles of your feet if that's what's happening for your body, but root down, establish, open heart, elevated mind. Let's bring hands back down to the floor. We've already known this motion, so we're gonna move with our breath first and then we're gonna hold on each side. So inhale, one arm comes up, exhale, lean. Inhale, back to center, arm reaching, exhale to the floor. Other side, inhale, reach, exhale, lean. Inhale, reach, exhale, release. Good, let's do three more on each side with your own breath. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to kind of lean. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to release.
couple more breaths. Be with it. Be truly, authentically with it. Be peaceful with it. Acknowledge the BS. BS happens. This is practice. So when it happens out there in the world, we know what to do. Last breath out, maybe we lion. Then start to come back to your neutral establishment, your neutral openness, your neutral high mind. Much easier when we're not looking at the BS, all right? Sometimes we gotta take a break. <laughs> so from here, we're gonna find um, some of these same poses lying down, but before we do that, let's open our heart. Let's look inside and let's look outside again. So knees can be same the same way, they can cross leg, and you can kind of find the right way for you to find this. But establish again through the hips, open through the heart, elevate through the mind, same, same, same. Neutral first, then just the neck starts to change, so drop chin to chest, feel the back of the neck open. Now let that turning or that intention to look inside come into the heart, let the heart sink back Chin drops a little closer to the chest. Shoulders might shift forward. Feel that looking within strengthens and solidifies the front body and thereby opening the back body. Just pause. See if you can get heavy. See if you can bring that establishment from your hips up into your heart. That establishment from your hips up into the mind. Chin coming up last. First, shift your heart to neutral. Then shift your chin and, and head to neutral. Neck coming back to neutral. Let's find the opposite. First, shift your gaze. Chin lifts. Now we're not dropping the back of the head back. We have a strong establishment in the back of the neck where that compression is happening. Keep lifting even as your head comes back. Now shift that upward facing, outward facing glance to the heart. Let the heart lift as well. Shoulders drop back. Established in the hips, let that establishment kind of force your heart up and your gaze up. High mind, open heart. Giving and receiving truth and peace in our breath. Come back to neutral, first in the head, then in the heart. Feel your weight settle into the sitting bones for that establishment. Neutral. Now let's move with breath. Exhale, chin and heart drop down. Feel that heaviness. Front body collapses, back body opens. Inhale, find the opposite. Back body sort of collapses and strengthens. Front body and throat open. Exhale, look inside yourself. Inhale, look out to the world. Exhale, look in yourself. Inhale, look into the world. yourself and stay here. Inhale here. Exhale, look out to the world. Good. Inhale, look into yourself. Exhale, look into the world. Two more. Exhale, look into yourself. Sorry, inhale, look into yourself. I got mixed up, so if I keep going with what we were doing. <laughs> look in, look out. establishing through the sacrum. We've been doing that all throughout our practice. Now establish your heart in that peace and truthfulness. Let your heart sink into the earth. Let the mind also do this. Establish by letting the back of the head rest in the earth. Let go of all effort. Hands can be anywhere from on the body to normal shavasana to wide to above the head with elbows wide. Choose a shape that helps you to feel established, open, and elevated. Same with your legs and feet. Choose a position. Maybe the feet stay on the floor, soles of the feet and knees collapse together. Maybe heels reach out wide to the corners of your mat and heels are established. Choose a position that helps you to feel rooted, and established in peace and truth. 
Yoga Sutra 235 and 236. When one is established in nonviolence, hostility is abandoned in their presence. 236, when one is established in truthfulness, they rest fully in the fruit of their actions. We usually think of actions as something that we're doing, but action can also be your thoughts. Action can also be your words. So what does it mean to rest fully in your thoughts, rest fully in your words, rest fully in your actions? I saw a commercial recently that was about people kind of like shouting their social security numbers into a megaphone into a crowd. It was about privacy on the internet or whatever. But what if every single thought you thought was broadcast in that way, would you be comfortable? That's the level of truthfulness we want to bring, where even if that happened, you'd be cool. I'm preaching that as if, you know, don't, don't get the idea that I'm there. I would be horribly embarrassed if, if everybody knew every single thought that I was thinking. This is a practice. It's something to work on. It's not something to perfect in this moment or be present and established in. It's working toward that establishment. So let yourself rest in peacefulness. Feel the stillness of the body and how that bleeds into the mind and the heart, that stillness, that establishment in peace. That being fully present with who you truly are, your authenticity, relax into that. Let go to it. Mrityor <laughs> 
ma amritam gamaya Om Shanti 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 Satoma Sad Gamaya from untruth to truth lead me. Tamaso Ma Jotir Gamaya from muddiness or slowness or deadness to light and clarity and vibrance and illumination lead me. Mrityor Ma Amritam Gamaya from death to everlasting life, or from the finite to the infinite, lead me. May everything, may all be peace, peace, peace. Feel your breath flowing in and out. Truth and peace in, truth and peace out. Feel that establishment in the sacrum, the back of the heart, and the back of the head. Body, mind, and heart all established in truth and peace. And start to feel that aliveness within you. That clarity, that brilliance that comes from being rooted in peacefulness being rooted in truthfulness, being true to who you are, true to what is. And the aliveness that comes with that, feel that working its way to fingertips and toes. And just let it out, let that movement, let that aliveness sort of discharge through the fingers and toes. Maybe the head, just like we did in our practice, we'll turn softly from one side to another. We'll shift the perspective while staying rooted and established in the heart and the body. Start to find more and more of this aliveness moving through your body. Arms and legs might begin to move. Maybe the breath is deepening. Find a motion or a position that allows you to feel like everything is flowing from your heart outward. So maybe that's a long stretch. Maybe that's a wide stretch. Send energy out through the fingers, toes, out through the crown of the head. Find some way to embody that. It might look different for each person. Then start to pull all of that in towards your heart. Find a position in the body that feels like that, that pulls inward towards the center of your being that receives. When you've established yourself kind of in that receiving mode, then just fall to your side. Take a moment in a sideline position. Let go. Release all effort. Feel one side of your body rooted and grounded into the earth. The other side of your body open to the air around you, the space around you. Take a full breath in here and hold it in your body. Fill yourself up to capacity. Receive to the best of your ability. Hold it in. Then exhale. Maybe we lion that out. Force it out. Send it out. Beautiful. 
and slowly and with intention rise, keeping that stillness within you, start to rise up to a seated shape and find those same three points of checking in. Root and establish through the hips, open and lift through the heart and the mind. In one hand, we hold the truth about ourselves, and the other hand, we hold the truth about the world and our situation. In one hand, we hold deep peace from within ourselves, and in the other hand, we find and seek out that deep peace that is available and abundant in the world. Bring the palms lightly together as a soft union, a joining, and then pull that into your heart center. The hridayam, the essence of the heart, is peace. The essence of the heart is truth. Know this in your bones. Know this with your breath reminding you. Every second that passes, know this. Establish yourself in it. And as you find your peace, as you find your truth, as you transmit and receive this truth and peace, our life becomes one of service to all. Loka, samasta, sukino, bhavantu. May all beings be happy, healthy, safe, and free. Namaste.